Okay, so here's the homework paper. And here's the first question. Use a picture or array to prove your quotient is true. Okay, here I go. I've got 24 divided by 8 equals 3. That's the one I picked. Now, I'm going to use the divisor. That's 8. And I'm going to create 8 circles. That's the easiest way to solve this one. I like to make mine in neat rows. Two rows of four here. Okay. Now I'm going to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's my first eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. 23, 24. Okay, so that shows me that 24 divided by 8 leaves 3 in each circle. And there's the answer, 3. They agree. So I put a little smiley face there. Okay, let's look at the second question. Which number is the dividend, the divisor, and the quotient? And here they are, the dividend, the divisor, and the quotient. Our next question is count backwards or subtract by the divisor to prove that your answer is true. This one was a little tricky, but it's easy once you get the hang of it. 24 divided by 8 equals 3. 24 minus 8 equals 16. And we're just going to keep subtracting till we get to 0. 16 minus 8 equals 8, and 8 minus 8 equals 0. I've got 1, 2, 3 eighths. And there it is, the answer, 3. Okay, use multiplication to check to that your answer is correct. 24 divided by 8 equals 3. If 24 divided by 8 equals 3, then 8 times 3 should be 24, because it's a fact family. 8 times 3 equals 24, which was the dividend, which is now the product. And that matches up. Give yourself a smiley face. This is the second page. Write the fact in three different ways. So the top, on the top you write, if, that's already filled in for you, if 24, stick the number in, divided by is there, write 8 equals 3, then here are three different ways to show it. Using the traditional division sign, 24 divided by 8 equals 3, that's horizontal. This one's more vertical. We'll probably be using these more often. This is what we call a house, but really it's an array model because as you see it, it can make a rectangle. Here is the next one, and that is a fraction. 24 eighths is equal to three holes, and that's a fraction. We'll be doing more fractions later. Here's the next one. Write a fact family using the same three numbers. 24 divided by 8 equals 3. Now use the exact same numbers, 24, 8, and 3 to make another division. 24 divided by 3. Take the quotient and switch it with the divisor, and there you, go, there you have it. Now we're going to take the divisor and the quotient and we're going to multiply them together and see if they make 24. 8 times 3, yep, 8, 16, 24. Okay, that matches up. Now we're going to use the commutative property to switch the factors 
and get the same product, which as we know, with the commutative property of addition and multiplication, if you switch the factors, switching the order of the factors does not change the product. Here comes another one. Write another factor you could figure out because you know this fact. Okay, now this one was a little tricky, but let's use what we remember about adding zeros to numbers to show that we've multiplied them by 10, 100, or 1,000. So if 24 divided by 8 equals 3, then 240 divided by 8 equals 30. A little easier to do would be put a zero on both of them. 240 divided by 80 equals 3. So 80, 160, 240. 2,400, let's add two zeros on each one, divided by 800. Look what you get. Same answer, 3. Let's go even further. 24,000, adding three zeros, divided by, add three zeros to the 8. 8,000, multiply them both by 1,000, equals 3. Writing your fact five times should not be a problem for you. But should you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to let me know. Thanks. Bye-bye.